let us take the next question i'll read what is given here a pulley is driven by a flat belt running at a speed of 600 meters per minute full stop the coefficient of friction is 0.3 and angle of lap is 160 degree the maximum tension in the belt is 700 newton find the power transmitted by the belt now this is the question whatever is given here i will write that in the form of data here it is given a pulley is driven by a flat belt running at a speed of 600 meters per minute so that is the linear speed of the belt so i'll convert it into meter per second by dividing by 60 therefore v is equal to 10 meter per second next the coefficient of friction is 0.3 mu is given and angle of lap is 160 degree theta 160 degree so i'll multiply by pi divided by 180 that is 2.79 radians next maximum tension in the belt is 700 newton remember the maximum tension is tension in tight side which is t1 so t1 is given here 700 newton find the power transmitted by the belt here we have to calculate how much is the power which is to be transmitted now since in this question they are asking us to calculate power i will start from power itself that is in the solution since power transmitted by bell drive the power transmitted is given by p is equal to t1 minus t2 into the velocity i will keep this as equation number 1 now to calculate power we need to have t1 t2 and velocity i'll say that therefore belt tension ratio it is given by t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta so therefore e raised to mu is 0.3 theta is 2.79 radians so from this i will get t1 is equal to it is 2.31 times of t2 now as we see in this problem t1 is given that is the maximum tension so therefore i'll write down t2 is equal to 700 divided by 2.31 so t2 value this comes out to be 303.03 newton now after getting t1 t2 velocity is also given so i'll put velocity is 10 meter per second all values in equation number 1 so i'll say that put all values in equation number 1 so therefore in equation 1 we have power p is equal to t1 it was given as 700 minus t2 it is 303.03 t1 minus t2 multiplied by the velocity velocity is 10 meter per second so it is 10 so from this i will be getting the answer of power that comes out to be 3.96 into 10 raised to 3 watts or we can say it is 3.96 kilowatts so that's the answer of power transmitted and with this we complete the question